Hello guys! In today's video I am going to be talking about facial feedback hypothesis. It basically states that the facial expression which we have on our face can directly affect our emotional experience. Easily said, if we smile we might start to feel better on the inside. If we had sad expression on our face we might start to feel worse on the inside. Usually we tend to think that it is just one way street because of how we feel on the inside then there is a natural consequence our expression on our face. Like for example, somebody is happy because they just won the lottery, so they are smiling like crazy. But it can also work the other way around. And how does this even work? Well, the contraction of our facial muscles when we smile on, or where we have sad expression on our face can communicate not only to other people, but also to our inner state. Philosopher and psychologist William James and physician Carl Lange believed that our conscious experience can be built upon the physiological changes in our bodily states. In 1988 there was this interesting experiment by Streck. He actually took a group of people and then he divided them into two groups. One of the group was required to hold a pen in between their teeth which forced them to smile and the other group sadly were required to hold the pen in between their lips, which prevented them from smiling. It looked something like this. This is not picture from this particular experiment. This is from one of the replications. However, just to give you a general idea, yes, it looked exactly as ridiculous as you think it looked. But this is a serious psychological experiment, so I'm not going to mock it or anything. However, these people, as they were holding these pens, were watching funny cartoons. And then later on they were asked how they felt. And the group which were forced to smile, they reported that they felt significantly better than the group who was forced not to smile. And they were satisfied with the results of the experiment and everybody lived happily ever after. Except then these other evil psychologists came and they said, look, we don't believe you, we're just gonna test it. So they made replications or Basically what it means is that they repeated this experiment to find out if it's going to work out or not. And like this meta-analysis of these experiments was written by Coles and some two other guys whose names I don't remember or I don't even care. And they summed up this research and there were many experiments which actually said that this doesn't really work and there was not found a significant difference. And all of this is gonna be linked below. Uh, maybe now you're scratching your head and you're wondering, okay, so what am I supposed to take from this? And, well, I don't know, take whatever you want. I just wanted to be right with you, you know? People like to be told the truth. What the truth? However, it made me feel really weird. So what I did is what I like to do a lot of the times when Western psychologists kind of disappoint me, I like to turn to the East, you know, because on the East everything is much more beautiful, I would say, because what Westerners have to test out in their theories and in labs and put a lot of people in one room, which is not something I enjoy, there comes a Vietnamese monk who just sums it all up in one sentence. And I think this is like the epitome of the difference between East and West. And the monk is called Thich Nhat Han. This is him. I think he looks really cool. This is exactly how I picture a monk should look like or Lord of the Rings character. And he basically said it in one sentence and I'm gonna quote him. I like quoting other people because I don't have to think when I speak. He said, and I quote, Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. You see how great this is? Your smile can be the source of your joy. Not is the source of your joy. There is left room for doubt, which I love and dig about this. So after this, I was like, hmm, guys, you know what? I'm just gonna test it myself. So I made two experiments on myself. The first one, I was smiling for five minutes as I was alone in the house. And I felt kind of okay. However, I was thinking to myself, well, I should test it out for a longer period of time. And I'm gonna smile for at least like two hours and I'm gonna do it in public. Yes, I am a true masochist. And so what I did is I left the house, I was going down the street 
smiling. I get into the car, smiling. I was driving, I was still smiling. I was going to the supermarket, still smiling. Everybody was giving me like weird looks. They probably thought I was crazy or medicated. Some guys thought I was flirting, which apart from one case, I really wasn't. But after a while, I just didn't care. I just kept smiling. And then I came home and I felt great. You know all these quotes they say on in like these motivational fields when they tell you that you are in control of your life. And you might think like, well, I'm, I don't feel in control. Well, now I can tell you I felt in control. I felt like I am happy. It was like I was high or drunk or something, you know, but I wasn't. I highly, highly, highly recommend do this at least once in your life and try to figure out who was right, the original experiment or the replications. Do you agree with the monk or not? If you try to do it as well, let me know in the comments how it went for you. So that's everything for my today's video. Have a beautiful now and I will see you next time with my next video. Bye.